Hey everybody, how you doing out there? So it's truly just doing another YouTube video again. I want to start off the premise by saying this is police brutality at its worst. Not it's at its good, at its worst. Uh, this is around the time, I'll give you the year. Uh, it's around the time of 2011. Now you may have, this is way, way, way back in 20, 2011. This is not Canadian police, this is the American police. So you can tell by the, uh, by the, I'm not going to show you the, uh, the video of it, the security cam footage. It's a little grainy, it's a little grainy, so bear that in mind. So the security camera is a little gray, it's kind of grayish, grayish kind of footage. Uh, so you can tell how <laughs> the finish, the video footage, I'm not going to show it on my, uh, YouTube channel, but you can tell how brutal it got at its worst. Now, that's at its good, at its worst. Um, uh, now, bear this in mind, I don't paint every police officer with a broad brush. They're out there to force the law, which they do, most of the time. Um, uh, I'm not anti-police. Just so you know, folks, we're not, I'm not anti-police. Uh, when I see these kind of videos out there on YouTube, I start to, I start to tear up. I really do. I start to tear up. It's so, it's so, the word I would use, brutal. It's very brutal in nature. Um, and, uh, usually they say police brutality and they do mean this. And it's worse. Not it's that it's good. It's worse. Uh, now, let me give you a brief story here, folks. This happened around 2011. Um, this was, it was in the United States. You know how the United States police are. Now, remember, we just, we're just learning about all this stuff. Uh, there wasn't, there wasn't like first men auditors out there with their video cameras filming the police every single time they do something really bad out there. Uh, this time around, around 2011. Now, Sometimes the police go out there and ask the people about their names, and they're trying to get an or. They're trying to get, uh, what do you call it, an, um, they start up by saying what their names are and stuff. And uh, they try not to escalate it. Uh, the question I would say, they're trying not to escalate it. Uh, they just ask the person's name, and that's all they're going to get out, uh, try to get the person's name. And uh, they're not forcing people to do this. Um, but... Uh, it's in their, it's, you know, it's in their playbooks. Uh, but, yeah, they try to do their best by asking the person's name and so on and so forth. And uh, that's what they do when they ask the other person. And the, the guy in the foot, I'll give you a little brief detail of what I saw in the footage. They asked this guy, he was a homeless guy. Apparently they dubbed this guy as a homeless guy. Not the police officer, but the, uh, uh, the, the guy they spoke to. Um, they dubbed him as a homeless guy. Um, so at this point, remember this is 2011, mind you. This is a couple years back. <clears throat> so, so all they're trying to do is get a uh, name off this person. Uh, like, they originally start up by getting the person's name, okay? I don't know in the playbooks you're supposed to do that. Uh, but, uh, but remember, this guy's a homeless. He may not know his name right off the bat, right off the huff, as they say. So he's kind of, you know, <laughs> he hasn't got too much of memory of his name. He's just, he's trying to play games with the, you know, police officer. <laughs> this is basically how they do it sometimes. But anyway, that's how they showed it on the, they gave, they had an audio, they had audio and the video. It's a little grainy video, by the way. It's a little grainy video. Um, so it's not, it's not like a colorized video. Uh, so it's a little grainy. It's from the security cameras from the area. And um, they asked the guy about his name, and they can go. And they were saying he can go home, and that's pretty much it. And leave it at that. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much. I, I didn't see anything, anything uh, up towards the person or anything like that. Uh, but as, as 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 they like to do, they go on and on and on about it. And it's like uh, the word. Sometimes what people like to say they kind of escalate it. Not de-escalated, if you know what I mean. Um, they try and escalate it to a point of not getting angry, but just getting mad, getting you know frustrated about it. Uh, but uh, but this was in the United States, mind you, way back in 2011, and they dumped this guy, the homeless guy, and 
some strange reason, the story was he was going through cars and stuff like that, or the story went like that, and uh, the police were kind of a little cautious about it, so they were, they were. So they asked the guy what his name and all stuff like that. And at the tail end of the video, they basically know what they did. This was the, the police brutality kind of way. They beat up the homeless guy. They really did. And really, for me, when I saw the footage, it's kind of, it's kind of like turning my stomach. It really was. At the point, it kind of turned my stomach. It was from good to worse to bad. And uh, it was really sad. It was brutality at its worst. I mean, they only, only asked him for his name, and now he gets beat up for it. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm saying to myself, who, who does this in the world? I mean, these are police, these are police officers. Why do these are police officers? They, you know, they got to, you know, usually they don't, uh, <laughs> we're going to tend people tend to say they don't escalate it, they de-escalate it, if you know what I mean. Uh, so they're not trying to escalate the whole thing, the whole situation. Um, but be that as may, I don't, I'm not going to show you the footage here. You guys can go research it on somewhere on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's, it's brutality at its worst. Let's put it that way. And uh, it's not for good. It was, um, I'll give you the, uh, it was a son who got beat up. I put down his name, I wrote down his name and everything. The dad, who still around to this day, uh, did, had an exclusive interview for one of my YouTubers. And, uh, to this day, and he wore a t-shirt about his son who got, uh, I'll say it this much, got beat up by the police, this American police. And the USA police, where, where, where do they call themselves? Anyway, uh, it was a police brutality at its worst, folks. I'm not kidding. This wasn't for good. This was for a really bad, it went almost like downhill, it was like rap, going down the rabbit hole of, of, of badness. So it went fast, it went uh, pretty downhill, from, it was like a rabbit hole kind of theory. Uh, so, and it was really shocking, the most shocking thing is when you hear the audio, it, you start to tear up, you just don't want to hear it. So uh, normally, normally, with YouTube videos, I kind of <laughs> try to overhear what they're saying and stuff like that. But this time, I kind of almost turned it off the audio. It was just too much to bear, too much to hear. It was really sad all around. Uh, but uh, with these, uh, you know, people say it's uh, police brutality. But this time, it really was. It was shown on, on footage. Uh, and they only showed it from the security camera in that area. And... Uh, this homeless guy was near one of these bus stops areas, and he got beat up badly. I mean, to a pulp. This was, this was at its worst. And so the guy was in the hospital. He died five days after that, if you believe that, uh, at the hands of a police. Yes, uh, this is bru police brutality at its worst, not at its good. So. He, uh, it's not like a George Floyd thing. Uh, it's a quite different way of doing things. But yeah, way back in 2011, if you're wondering. Uh, so yeah, it's sad. It was a sad moment. I almost teared up on it, uh, seeing this footage. It was just, um, it was really sad. I just, got, I just heard it through uh, another YouTuber who uh, did an exclusive interview from that dad. Uh, who was around to this day, and uh, it was pretty sad. It was pretty brutal. You, <laughs> I don't know what much words I can say. It says brutality at its worst. Uh, so, anyway, I was thinking today for you folks out there, I was saying maybe those police officers should apologize to the, to, to the dad. At least have the decency to do that. You know, they did the deed, and they uh, really, really did a worse one. So, anyway, folks, and I'm saying to myself today, I'm glad there's people out there from the police hold them, these police people accountable. The word I would use, accountable. Or um, just make sure, you know, they're up and up and everything they do out there in society. And, uh, yeah, anybody can be an honor. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this this got to know the laws. You know, if you're coming from the United States, got to know your amendments to your constitution. Of what you can and cannot film. 
Uh, and uh, not everybody can be an auditor. Just uh, learn learn the ropes. Learn how to, you know, just get a camera and build the police. And just remember, just keep remember, keep this in mind. Always remember your amendments and your constitution if you need them. Uh, so it was really sad to see this footage. It, it was really... Oh, it was, it was police brutality at its worst, not at its, its good. It was terrible. It was terrible what I saw. It just, even the audio in the video was just, oh, it was just, and anyway, the son of the, of the, uh, of the father, he, he's still around to this day, to, the, uh, to this day of that happening. And, um, it was, ter it was ter terrible. These two police officers fell not guilty, apparently, by doing the action. And, um, yeah, you, you guys can go see his footage. It was brutality at its worst. Not as said it's good. Uh, it was, uh, it just, it, it, I had no words to say anything about it. It was just, I was too emotional about it. And um, I'm glad there's people out there with, you know, with cameras and holding the police people accountable. And we got furry potato, we got all sorts of people out there on YouTube doing what they need to do to fill the police, hold them accountable. That's why they, they're all out there doing a the story for the first amendment auditors. And um, it's from the American side of things, not the Canadian side of things. And I was teared up. I was solely teared up. And what I saw was just the sadness all around. Uh, but uh, it was terrible, it was terrible. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm sorry to uh, brag on about it, but uh, it was, it was, uh, I almost came to tears about it. It was just brutality at its worst. Uh, sometimes I can tolerate the stuff that, uh, you know, with auditors out there, but this one was around the 2011, 2011 uh, year. And um, I think not everybody at the at that time was doing the uh, home police accountable uh, from their transparency thing, um, side of things. And um, so bear this in mind, folks, bear this in mind. I was just sad for the whole thing, really the whole thing. I'm just glad the dad is still out there championing the cause about it. Uh, so yeah, so his son was beat up by the hands of the police, if you can believe that. And it was at its worst. <laughs> Uh, at the time, he was homeless, apparently, according to uh, a lot of uh, news stories. Um, but, yeah, the police officers that did the, uh, these police officers, there were about seven at the time, uh, were beating up this homeless guy, and uh, it was brutality at its worst. I don't, I don't know if these police officers could sleep at night knowing they did this. Remember, this is way back in 2011. Uh, this was a couple years back. And uh, the dad is still around, and he has he has a t-shirt about it. And um, it was said one of my YouTubers interviewed the dad exclusively. And this was years later. I mean, uh, I'm not going to show you the, the footage or the photos of it because it, it might be turned your stomach out there. Um, it turns my stomach around. I mean, I don't want to have to see this stuff ever again. I mean, this is despicable. And my, my words would be despicable, what I saw. Uh, and just the words that I, I would come out of my mouth. Just despicable. Um, you know, I can, I can, you know, I can tolerate a few things on YouTube, but that one was just despicable beyond compare. Um, it just, I don't know, it wasn't like I was mad or anything. It was just, just the words I would use, I would just be, he is despicable, really despicable, what the police have done to this, this homeless guy. I mean, it was really despicable if you were to see this. I mean, any daughter, any son, or any daughter would see that and say it was despicable what they did. I mean, it was it was it was not needed. I'm glad the dad got an exclusive interview from one of my YouTubers. I, I was I was really appreciative about that one. So anyway, I, all I'm gonna say, folks, is I was really sad seeing it. The footage. Even the audio, I had to turn down the audio, it was just too, it was just too heart-wrenching. It really was. It was just too much to bear. Um, and I hope to not see that uh, kind of footage ever again with the police out there doing this kind of crap. Um, you know, 
I'm just, I'm just, uh, um, I'm just sad that I, what I saw and what I heard. I just couldn't believe it. Um, it made me sick to my stomach. It really did. I mean, I could tolerate a few things out there in the world on YouTube, but this one takes the cake. It really would. Uh, it turned my stomach. I don't know how those police officers that night in 2011 could sleep knowing that they beat up this homeless guy. So, I had just no words about it. I mean, this is despicable beyond belief. And uh, so they had their day in court, if you were wondering, folks. Had their day in court. They got the no guilty plea. Uh, so, I really don't know. I'm, what I'm saying here, folks, is I was really all sad about the whole damn thing. Uh, they released the footage five years after the fact. So, it was a little grainy footage from the security cameras. So, it was just a little sad, a little sad, um, kind of disheartening now over it. Um, I wanna, I'll say the, uh, what I'll do is I'll put the person's name on here and, and the father's name, and you guys can go research them on YouTube. Um, it's just heart-wrenching footage, it really is. Um, Johnny Five O, I'll uh, drop some names here, a YouTuber, he goes by the name of Johnny Five O, he uh, interviewed the dad of that son who got blur, got uh, really uh, murdered by the police, essentially. And this is all before George Floyd, this was years and years later. And um, I just, I just, what I'm trying to say here folks is I just wish the police people at that time would apologize to the dad. Say, hey, they, they're sorry they did this. You know, at least have some decency. Uh, you know, I mean, imagine if any son or daughter saw that footage on YouTube somewhere. Imagine, just imagine, they would be sick to their stomach. I mean, I was. I was just dumbfounded. I just couldn't be dumbfounded. It was just the emotion that came out of me. I, I wasn't really mad or really pissed off or anything like that. I was just dumbfounded. I saw this. I was just down by I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. So anyway, that's my, not really outrage, just dumbfounded. That's the word I would use. So that's the only word I'm going to use for it. Um, but I just want to say, I want to say thank you to Johnny Five O for interviewing the dad. I really appreciate that time. Because up to that point, I didn't know the story of it until he interviewed the dad. Uh, it was a, kind of like an exclusive interview, essentially. And uh, he had the story about it, and uh, yeah, so it was really appreciative, it really was. And I had to do my research, I had to do my diligence, due diligence kind of thing. Uh, so I kind of looked for the footage for it, and I found it, and uh, it was despicable. It was really despicable. Uh, there was some audio on it, and even that was kind of heart-wrenching. So, anyway, folks, I'm going to be out of here. Um, I won't mention the son's name. Uh, not the son's name, but the uh, actual name to the son. The father, I'll mention the father's name. And, uh, yeah, so you guys go do the research of it. I'll put their names on the subtitle. And uh, it's just despicable. The way I would receive it as despicable. Um, it was... If you saw the photos and the video of it, the security cam footage, you would be, it would be heart-wrenching, despicable, the words I would use. Um, I mean, no, no son in the world should have to pass away the hands of a police. I mean, anywhere around the world, I mean, remember, I'm not anti-police, remember that, folks. I just saw what I saw, heard what I heard. It's just heart-wrenching for me to see that and... I'm not sure if I, it brought a lot of emotion to me. I just, I thought it, the whole thing was despicable. It was, really was. It, it really was. And folks, I really don't. I have no words for it. And uh, can you believe this happened in 2011? Way back in 2011. And uh, this brings me to tears. I don't know why I'm like, uh, crying about this now. Anyway, folks. Oh, oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm only human, folks. I'm only human. 
Anyway, it brought me to tears, folks. It really did. Um, I was very emotional over the whole thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, so there's a father's son who, uh, well, the son passed away at the hands of a police brutality. I call it police brutality for a reason. Uh, this happened in 2011, and there was protesters that were out there protesting the son's, uh, the son brutality. Uh, they were really out there. The, the protesters were out there protesting this, sort of. They saw the, the footage. And, uh, they're, they're, they really said that we're, we're a lot of proud, mind you. Uh, but, uh, it just doesn't seem to seem the fact that, uh, yeah. Anyway, folks, I said as long as I can. Oh, I'm, I'm just teared up here, guys. I couldn't believe it. That's why I'm going to, uh, that's why I'm going to bring awareness to everybody out there. I'm going to try and do that the best I can. So, anyway, that's it, folks. So, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just all teared up here. And, uh, very emotional about the whole thing. Um, it's just, it's just police brutality at its worst. Simple as that. And, uh, the footage is on YouTube, and, um, they released the footage, I think, five years ago. And, uh, just terrible, just terrible. And CNN even brought it up on YouTube, so. Oh, boy, just, uh, I'm just, I, I, like I said, folks, I'm just glad there's First Amendment auditors out there with the cameras. filming the police, because we need them. We need them more than ever. We don't want to see this ever again on YouTube. Um, we don't want sons out there being killed in the hands of a police out there. Anywhere on this world. I mean, that's despicable. Uh, the audio was heart-wrenching, if you can believe it. Uh, this heart-wrenching. I mean, this is no word to even mention that. So, folks, I just, I just wish that, um, I didn't have to see that. I wish I didn't have to, but I did. Um, I had to turn down the audio. It was just too hard It was, it was that brutal. But, man, some things I can tolerate, some other things I can't. I just, it's just the way, you know, you know, this is way back in 2011. Remember everybody, way back in 2011 this happened. So, so I'm just glad that there's first payment auditors out there, such as YouTubers out there, just filming the police, and uh, we need more of these people to do this. And um, I, I, for one, want to champion the cause of all these police brutalities that are going on in the world. And it shouldn't even happen. This guy was a homeless guy at the time, and uh, he got beat up pretty badly. I mean, uh, the words I can't express here, guys. Uh, so, it was despicable. Uh, I'm just glad his dad is still alive from all of this. And they in they interviewed the dad. It's, uh, but the, the police did the deed. They beat up that homeless guy and uh, put him in the hospital. He passed away five days after that. <clears throat> as far as I heard the, um, far, far as I heard the videos. And, um, so I'm going to bring awareness anywhere humanly possible to any social media websites, any of them, any of them, just to bring awareness. Uh, if I, if I can bring that awareness, I've done my job. It's simple as that. Um, we don't want, you know, we don't want people died, you know, who police brutality kind of thing. And I don't want to have to see those videos on YouTube. I don't want ever have to see those videos. It was heart wrenching in itself. I just have to see that last night. It was just, uh, I just, I'm just dumbfounded what I saw. It was just, it was no laughing matter, folks. It wasn't. So, I was just glad to see a lot of, a lot of videos out there. People are protesting it. Uh, people have meanings about it. They're really pissed off about what they saw. 
And this is way back in 2011, mind you. So, anyway, I won't take up too much of your time out there, folks. But um, I was just really downfounded, sad, and everything. And uh, I'll mention the son's name and the father's name on here. I'll put their names on here on the subtitle. And it just brought me to tears. This really brought me to tears. I really, really was that sad. So, folks, I'm going to bring awareness. I'm going to champion the cause. Just so you know out people out there on, on any social media platform, I'm going to bring the cause right to the social media about this police brutality out there. This is, this is never should have happened. You know, I'm going to bring awareness. I'm going to actually do that. Bring awareness to anybody. If I can do this for every social media platform, I've done my job. Just as simple as that. And uh, I'm going to go out there and champion the cause. So there you go, folks. I'll be the sh uh, person of a shining light out there for anybody out there. And so I'll bring awareness to this. To uh, police people that do the deeds, do the, uh, you know, police brutalities out there. It, do it doesn't need to be done. It doesn't need to be done to these people. You know, the crazy that may seem. So I'm going to bring the awareness, folks. I'm going to really do strong and very strong, very strong on the awareness. So I'm going to champion that cause out there. I'm really going to do this. That's why I'm posting some things on Facebook about it. I'm going to champion the cause out there. Hope it brings awareness to this. It's not to do with mental issue. Just bear that in mind, folks. It's not to do with mental issue. It has to do with or uh, police people around the world. It's this police brutality thing. That has to, and it has to be gone, period, in this world. I was just, I was just dumbfounded when I saw the video. I had to turn down the, uh, the audio, it was so brutal. So, I would, I just hope I don't ever have to hear that again. Uh, I really, so I'm gonna bring awareness to every social media platform out there. I'm going to do it. Darn it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to let everybody know out there about this police brutality out there, this awareness. And I hope it ever, never, ever happens again. Um, but remember, this happened way back in 2011. So this is despicable what I saw. I'm just, I'm, what I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm, I'm being thankful what my YouTubers did with this exclusive interview from the dad. That was great. That was wonderful. I appreciated that. But it's just, I'm going to bring awareness. I'm going to definitely bring this awareness to a lot of people. If I have to. On social media. I'm going to do it. No matter how to high water. I'm going to bring awareness to everybody in the world. This shouldn't happen. I was just dumbfounded. I was almost in tears when I saw this footage yesterday. Oh, it, I, 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 I just don't want to say I was mad about it. I was just, it just, I was just dumbfounded when I saw it. And, um, so I'm going to bring awareness, folks, just so you know, I'm going to bring awareness on all my social media platform. I'm going to try and do it to hell to hell water on this. So, I'm going to change the ways that police out there are placing the police out there. And I won't have to see these kind of footage ever again. It was brutal at its worst. It was really. And, um... Um, but anyway, yeah, I was just, I'm just, I'm just upset about this whole thing. So, I don't want to see the footage ever again, um, but you guys could do your research, do your due diligence, and research this. Because this is just despicable footage I saw, despicable footage. And, um, I want to say, I want to say to the dad, maybe, um, I give condolence to, your, uh, to the dad of the son who passed away at the hands of a police. And that shouldn't have happened. It really shouldn't have happened. I'm going to bring awareness to on social media because of this. And we're going we're gonna to make some changes. We're going to make some changes to the world if I have to do this. Little old me is going to do some changes. So it was just it despicable what I saw. I'm sorry, folks. It really was. Um, so I'm going to bring some awareness out there. If you, even if I have to tell everybody on social media about it, I'm really going to do this. 
through the social media postings and stuff like that. I'm going to really champion the cause out of it. And damn, I'm going to do it. So, look out everybody, I'm going to do a champion the cause about this. I'm going to bring awareness to this. And if it, if it changes everybody's attitude, I will. Damn it, I will. Because I'm only one person, I'm like voice to the voiceless out there. I'm like a kid in the wilderness. You know, it's like a kid crying in the wilderness. So I'm going to bring this awareness to social media, right to social media. And um, I'm here for speaking for everybody out there. I'm going to do this. I'm like a beacon for everybody. So I'm going to bring this awareness to you people, so be well aware of that. So there you go, folks. I should never have to hear kind of push like that ever again. It just brings me to tears. I'm glad. So there you go, folks.